find the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 5s plus 6. So in this problem, we'll use partial fractions. So we have s over, and this here factors, it looks like it's going to be s plus 2 times s plus 3. And that checks. The inside terms, that's 2s. The outside terms, that's 3s. When you add them, you get the middle term, which is 5s. And 2 times 3 is 6, so no problem there. It looks good. So we have distinct linear factors. So this is a over s plus 2 plus b over s plus 3. And we're going to use what's called the cover-up method to find a and b. So let's find a first. So to find a, you look here. You say, okay, what's under a? Well, s plus 2 is under a. All right, so what makes s plus 2 0? Well, negative 2. So negative 2 is the number that makes the bottom 0. So then we come over here and we cover up the s plus 2. So we're going to plug in negative 2 into everything except s plus 2. So it's negative 2, and then we ignore the s plus 2, so now we're looking here. And then negative 2 plus 3. So this is negative 2 over 1, so it's negative 2. That's it. All right, let's do b. Again, we look at b. And we look at what's under b, and we ask, what makes s plus 3 0? Well, s equals negative 3. That's what makes s plus 3 0, so negative 3. Then we come over here, and we cover up the s plus 3, and we plug in negative 3 into what's left. So negative 3 over negative 3 plus 2. So this is negative 3 over negative 1, which is 3. And now we are ready to go. So we know that we can rewrite what we have as follows. A here is negative 2, so negative 2 over s plus 2. And B is 3, so 3 over s plus 3. Okay, and we want the Laplace transform of this stuff. The Laplace transform is linear, so we can write this as negative 2 Laplace, rather inverse Laplace. <laughs> Ooh. Careful. And then uh, 1 over s plus 2. Forgot we were doing inverse Laplaces. Plus 3 inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 3. And now we're going to use a super powerful formula. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus a. That's e to the at. So we want to think of the first guy. Let me write it down one more time. Let's be perfect as 1 over s minus negative 2, right? That's how you want to think about it. And the next guy, you want to think of this guy as 1 over s minus negative 3, right? Minus and minus is plus. And so now we can directly use the formula above. So this is negative 2. And then here a is negative 2, right? That's our a. So we're going to get e to the negative 2. and then plus 3e e to the negative 3t. And that's it. That's the inverse Laplace transform.